cop. Here's a cop. Show the cop. Yes. Hey, one sec. I'll call you back in a second. I'll call you back. Rolling. No, don't tell them. What? No, they already know. Don't tell them what we're doing. Oh, okay. I don't want anyone knowing. You already know. You know. I didn't even have to title this video. Hellcat on buggy wheels, that's right. We're putting buggy wheels on our Hellcat. This video is sponsored by <laughs> Creekside Wheel Shop. Get your wheels and tires. They have like, I go there for all my wheels and tires. If you go to Creekside, expect a pimp and ride. No, actually, they didn't sponsor this. I just got the buggy wheels from them. They're pretty nice, so Jason welded some hubs on these. They should mount right up. They are hefty. So we did this same video on uh, our Duramax with wooden buggy wheels. Now I could have done that on this, but I thought at like 110 mile an hour, they'd probably fly apart. And then maybe yeah. I would fly apart. So we got aluminum ones. Now these, the other ones were wooden and they support a whole pickup these truck. Are so um, they have really rubber, long. they have rubber. So we should still be able to get good smoky burnouts with them. But this video is actually sponsored by Far From Stock Wheel Space. Just get your wheel spacers Far From Stock. You got wheel spacers, I got, they got them. If you need them, I have them too. I have a lot of them. My whole lifetime collection here. You don't know how many, yeah. How was that again? I don't know how many I've had break. I've stacked 10 of these on top of each other and never had one break. Ever. Yep. You think? There you go. Nice. Dude, look at the brakes behind him. <laughs> it's hilarious. Spins pretty good. This is a neutral. Look at the wheel. Look at the oh, wheel. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> what? Is really nice actually. I'm pleasantly surprised. Like a, dude, it's like a normal car. It handles pretty good. And then look, look at my wheel. Like dead straight. It's dead straight. It's straighter than with the tires on it. Rides it's, like a it, it rides really a lot smoother than you would think. Yeah. Like when I think of buggy wheels, I'd be like, oh my god, that'd be so rough, like grinding on the pavement. But no. It's exactly what you would expect, you know. Here's a little pothole, rough spot. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We've driven five miles and nothing is broken yet. We're hauling. I feel like we should have brought a jack and a spare tire. Ah, no, we're fine. A spare wheel. <laughs> Thing that is killing me is I could go like 80 if I wanted to and probably be fine. But if I wasn't fine, then it wouldn't be fun. Corbin says, from a distance behind, he's following us. You can't see the wheels and it looks like the car's just hovering. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like to be in a buggy. It'd be one thing if this was on like a piece of crap car going through town, like everyone would be but like, ha, oh, that's funny. But it's on a freaking $50,000 sports car, like. Here's a cop, here's a cop. Show the cop. Yes, here we go. gonna be turning. Is he doing anything? He's not even look he's on his phone. He's not even looking. I want I want that cop to see me. Don't wanna leave my girl. I'm gonna pull out in front of this guy in my hell buggy. In this pure moment. Okay, if I get a picture. Yeah go for it. I mean, we're gonna get a picture earlier and because you took off before we could even get a picture. Yeah, she's fast, I know. I bet. <laughs> Never ever seen a vehicle like this, ever. It 
It's my buggy. More horses than all the others. How, what, how fast is, does it go? It would go 200. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Howdy. You're whistling diesel. Am I? Yes. <laughs> Sir whistling diesel. <laughs> he converted to Amish. <laughs> Off the books, I know where you live at. Yeah. Howdy. Oh, what now? <laughs> you guys air up tires? We don't have any gear. We got some tires. flats. See what we came in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he already knows. I already know. <laughs> I could do a burnout pretty easy with that. Could oh, I reckon. <laughs> it's funny. Half the people are just like, they don't really get the joke. They're like, yeah, nice car, man. <laughs> like. I asked if they got any with bigger wheels. <laughs> aren't big enough on that one. Where can I get one of those? Yeah, that's why I come here to look. I was asking if they had any bigger wheels, but they don't. That's badass. Thanks. Yeah, but how fast can you go? I got 699 more horses than all the other buggies, so. Well, yeah, but if you can go can, that fast. I can go about 200. Backwards. Yeah, I can go 50, though. I've been going 50. Man, when you do that, I want to ride. <laughs> this would be a really good video for, uh, to do with Ross Creations, I think yeah. he'd, he'd, he'd love this. He would do. This would be funny. Value customer. My wife texted me. She's like, Are you in town with the buggy wheels? <laughs> You're getting pictures sent to her. That's awesome. <laughs> no one's gonna be rude about it. They're not gonna be like, take your take your take, take your clothes, clothes off. <laughs> Hey, um, do you have any like churned butter? Sorry? Uh, just like a large Coke. And did you have churned butter? Butter? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we have butter. I'm not sure if we like sell okay. it. Uh, don't worry about it. That's, that's good then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We went to Arby's one time. <laughs> he said it'll be $9 and I handed him legit 40,000 cash. And he got so mad. He was like furious that I gave him like that much. He was like, he was like, get out, get out. You can't do that. You can't be filming me and all this. Thank you. Thank you. Trying to get my grandson to come out here because he's of uh, cars Austin. Yeah, go for it. I'll have him come out. Okay. Hey, one sec. I'll call you back in a second. I'll call you back. Oh my gosh. Howdy. I'm not whistling diesel. Okay, well. I'm I'm just uh, Yoder. Alright, alright. He's the only one making food in there. These are good. Did a good job. Oh yeah, I should compliment him. Food's good. <laughs> Lunch is good. <laughs> Burgers are good today. <laughs> That's funny, you never like compliment fast food people on their food. Like, Great job on the it's like really good. Anyways, I got that Clydesdale and she had like leaky oil problems and they wouldn't warranty her. Uh, so I just shot her because she broke her leg, so I just put her down. They wouldn't warranty it. So then they wouldn't give me a new one. So 
they're like it's animal abuse or whatever so fine so I went to the Mopar place and they gave me one of these I got more horses than all the other buggies <laughs> oh yeah I work for her. <laughs> have a good one when you got a gap slow boys at six but you got to churn butter at seven <laughs> Amish buddy's texting me just now and he's like, dude, you're freaking killing it on them wheels. <laughs> so my mom just got a text. I just drove past a red car. Looks like a newer charger with horse and buggy wheels on it. When I looked to see if it was your son, I saw two guys dressed like Amish in black. I had a huge laugh home. It was so funny. Was that Cody? And then she said, no, that's not my son. <laughs> I burn out folks. We went to town and nothing is broken yet and I just went like 60 mile an hour and they seem to be doing just fine. Yeah. So all right traction controls off. Oh it smoked so quick dude. <laughs> Not sure if I want to stand this close. Dude you gotta do a rolling burnout dude. wheels speed rating is probably like 30 mile an hour max right or something and i had the wheels up to 170 mile an hour and no problems <laughs> like i thought you would think that would explode like stretch in half and explode i was going 170 it said and no no problem i was a little in gravel scared. and stuff
dented the whole fender in. Yep. Right back here. That's the only damage to the car, other than probably half the transmission of the diff. That'll buff. All that counts is that we just went to town on buggy wheels. There's the Hellcat on buggy wheels. The Hell Buggy. The Huggy. You butter subscribe. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. I haven't had butter in forever. You're a kid and you get a tub of butter and just eat it with a spoon. I had to get liposuction because of that. <laughs> you ever have a butter cup? Come here, Judy. She's a little aggressive. She's got butter. You want butter? Like butter? You like butter? <laughs> <laughs> did you know that one entry is all it takes you know what we're giving away i'm going to start doing giveaways since everyone's doing giveaways we are giving away a 2020 brand new long sleeve whistle diesel t-shirt now all it takes is one order and you could you will win 100 percent guaranteed that's what, my, what makes my giveaways different 100% guarantee. If you order a Whistling Diesel t-shirt today, you will get one in the next three days, 100%. It's not even a gamble or a joke, or, but I'm giving one away for free to every single person who orders one. If you don't order one, you will not get one. So, what was I gonna say? Shipping. We're giving away hats, coats, everything. It's all free. All you have to do is order one and you will get it a few days later. We're also giving away a cardboard box and a shipping label with that. I just wanted to put that out there, but I'm starting to do giveaways just like everyone else.